The Old Guard 2 appears to have finished filming, but the Netflix sequel won't be available until the following year. The movie will be worth the wait, though, according to Charlize Theron, who teased Variety about its scope. It feels more international and we have a larger cast. A significant film. In October 2022, she remarked. Behind the scenes, Gina prince bythewood who remained on as a producer, has been replaced as director by Victoria Mahoney. However, the primary ensemble is all returning for another exciting journey in front of the camera. The sequel was written by Greg Rucka, who also penned the comic book on which the first film was based. He always intended the novel to be a trilogy, so if the sequel is successful, the story may continue. Here is everything you need to know about The Old Guard 2 before we go too far ahead. The Old Guard 2 Potential Release Date When can we expect The Old Guard 2? The Old Guard 2 has not yet received an official release date from Netflix, as was previously said. But we anticipate seeing it sometime in 2023. We wouldn't be shocked to see the sequel keep to a similar release date, which would mean we may be viewing it in July 2023. The original movie proved to be a hit on Netflix when it was released in July 2020. However, that's just our opinion. Keep an eye on this space for any confirmations. We do know that the sequel was shot from June to September 2022 in countries like Italy and the UK, so unless any reshoots are necessary, it is virtually set to be released. The Old Guard 2 cast, who's coming back for The Old Guard 2. In the first film, there was just one significant casualty as Merrick, played by Harry Melling, learned the hard way what happens when you mess with Andy's gang. Charlize Theron will play Andy, Kiki Lane will play Niall, Matthias Sconertz will play Booker, Marwan Kanzari will play Joe, and Luca Marinelli will play Nikki in the sequel. At the conclusion of the first film, Copley, played by Chiwetelu Ejiofor, is given the responsibility of making sure the team is kept concealed from anyone who would harm them. The reappearance of Ejiofor has also been announced, but it's not clear if he will play a significant part in the sequel or will merely be an M-like figure on the outside. As the returning Quinn, it appears that Veronica Ungo will play a significant role in the sequel. However, it is unclear at this time whether she will do so as a friend or foe of the crew. Noriko, a Japanese-born character played by Quinn, appears in the comics. A different character named Noriko won't appear in the sequel because the decision to replace it was made after Veronica Ungo was cast. Veronica declared that she is Vietnamese rather than Japanese when she was cast. I was contacted by and she asked, can we accommodate that? I responded, absolutely, Greg Rucka declared it. Mariko changes her name to Quinn, who is now Vietnamese. Really, it was just a matter of wanting to appreciate and honor that. Additionally, Lycan, a fallen member of the Old Guard, played by Michael Ward, might appear more frequently. In flashbacks from Andy and Quinn's past together, we witnessed him pass away, but might there be more to his tale? Since he is the only immortal we know of who has passed away, this possibility might be addressed when we learn more about Andy and Quinn's connection. Uma Thurman and Henry Golding have been revealed as two fresh faces for the follow-up. We don't yet know who they'll be facing off against or if, like Quinn, they'll be Andy's team's ally or enemy. The Old Guard ending. How does it set up the Old Guard 2? The most important part of the finale occurs in the credits scene, as we've covered in more depth. Six months after being expelled from the squad owing to his betrayal, we reunite with Booker in Paris. When he arrives at his residence, he is greeted by none other than Quinn, who has miraculously risen from the ocean's depths. We only hear one line from Quinn's return, I'm glad to finally see you, so we'll have to wait for the sequel to learn whether she's seeking revenge or simply wants to be with Andy. Force Multiplied, a second Old Guard comic book created by Rucka, likewise begins begins with Quinn's return. To offer an idea of what to expect, Quinn reveals in the comic book sequel that she believes immortality was granted to them to inflict pain on humanity rather than to save it. And she wants Andy to join her in this quest and to become her lover once more. However, as you wait for the potential sequel, you can read the comic if you want all the details and to find out what happens next. The fact that Andy is no longer considered to be an immortal is the other significant revelation that will have an effect on the sequel. When a stabbing wound from an earlier altercation in church fails to heal, she realizes that every battle henceforth effectively could be her last. Andy thinks the coming of the Nile is what has caused this significant transformation. You probably appeared when I lost my immortality, I believe, so I could observe how it was. To help me remember, recall how you felt when you were unbreakable. Remarkable. You gave me the reminder that there are still individuals worth fighting for she spoke up. It's one of the largest departures from the source material, but it's a crucial one since it provides a tension that could have been lacking in a film about immortal troops. That's pretty much all we currently know about the sequel, but we do know that Theron's Andy will get a stunning new hairdo. Theron said, for that, you go with the all mullet. We needed something that seemed like time had passed. Could a sequel go into greater detail on the reasons each old guard member was selected to be immortal as well as the specifics of that immortality? Does Andy now age like a human since Booker thinks he won't ever see her again? The scope is there if the sequel wishes to expand on the world as the first film doesn't fully explore the immortality aspect beyond the special ability it grants the team members. The Old Guard 2 trailer. Any footage from The Old Guard 2 yet? The Old Guard the second of May have concluded filming, but it will most likely be some time before we see any footage. If it is launched in July 2023 as predicted, perhaps we'll get something a few weeks beforehand. 
Netflix typically waits until close to the film's release to post trailers. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.